how to rapidly learn a brand new skill in seven days or less. I'm gonna prove it to you because I've done it. What's going on, you crazy fighting entrepreneurs? It's Onyx Singal back here, yet stepping into the ring. Look, I wanna tell you a really cool way. I call it binge learning, and I'm gonna walk you through a framework today that I use when I wanna learn anything new, especially in business, especially in marketing. It's a true story, kids, so sit around the fire. 2019, yes, 2019, I was gonna say 2018 or 2019. 2019, I'm down with the flu, and I'm telling you, I am down with with the flu. I haven't had flu like that in a long time. I am in bed. I'm hurting. I cannot get up, do anything functional, but I am the type of person that also cannot just sit still. I wasn't asleep. I didn't want to watch Netflix. At that time, we were getting very frustrated with Facebook advertising. So I decided I'm going to learn YouTube ads. So yes, I'm down with the flu. I got a fever of 101. I feel like crap and I'm going to master YouTube ads. Hadn't run YouTube ads ever at that time. Since then, I have gone on to invest millions upon millions of dollars in YouTube ads. I binge learned it while I had the flu, stuck in bed, sweating, fever, not eating. This strategy works and I want to walk you through the entire framework today. You could use this to learn anything. In my opinion, you can get fairly lethal with a skill in 20 hours or less. I want to say even 10. At 10 hours, you start to get dangerous. I know that you've heard that number to master a skill. You need to do 10,000 hours and I'm sure that crap is true. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. It's not about the 10,000 hours. It's about what do I mean by master? I'm not saying you can master a new skill in 20 hours. I'm saying you can get lethal. So you can get dangerous at 10 hours. You can get lethal at 20 and you can start deploying that. So for me, this is exactly the framework I had used for YouTube. This is the framework I've used to learn how to do organic YouTube, which you can tell from my channels doing well. This is how I've learned organic TikTok. This is how I've learned how to do webinars. This is how I've learned how to do copywriting. You get the point? And it's not just that in my personal life, I use this strategy to learn how to do plenty of things, okay? So in this framework, we start with anarchy and we hone in. How do people typically start trying to learn a new skill? Most people will start trying to learn a new skill by immediately going for bulky classes, going for coaching, or enrolling into big classes that take months and weeks. Here's what I do. So my framework works as follows. Binge, focus, questions, coaching, execution, consulting. All right, so how many steps is that? One, two, three, four, five, six steps. Binge, focus, questions, coaching, execution, consultants. So how does this pan out? So let's dive right into binge. Let's say you've got a new topic. I'm gonna give you five sources. By the way, if you see me looking down, I got a new thing going on, man. I got my iPad Pro out and I take notes for you before our session so I can be prepared. I, yeah, I'm putting my big boy pants on when it comes to this podcast. You better appreciate it. All right, so with the binge session, there are five sources that I go to. During binge, this is the anarchaic point of trying to learn something new. So I'm gonna go back to my YouTube example. I wanna learn YouTube ads. What did I do? I binged content about YouTube ads in no particular order, in no particular priority of location or media form for, I think I did three days, for about three to five hours total each day. So in total, I'm putting about 10 to 15 hours in of just binging. This is the most unorganized way of learning. I'm not taking classes. I might take a small course, but nothing of sizable commitment. Here are the five sources I go to binge, and I'll put these in priority or order for you, okay? Or the order that I like to do. Number one, YouTube. Oh yeah, love me some YouTube. I type away, I click away, I go down the whole rabbit, what's it? I go, I pull the thread, I go down the whole rabbit hole? Rabbit hole, there you go. I just keep going boom, 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 boom. I don't know where I end up. I end up, start one video and I end up God knows where. I'll do it for hours. YouTube's my favorite one. Number two, Google. I just go to Google, I type in searches and I find blogs and I start reading and I start clicking, clicking, clicking. Again, I go down the rabbit hole, all right? Number three, podcasts. How many of you have ever just used podcasts as a search engine? Most people don't. I don't actually follow a lot of people's podcasts, but what I do when I have a topic I want to learn is I type that topic into the search bar and I binge listen to as many episodes as I can. I've actually found some of my favorite podcasts by doing this. Don't necessarily search by personality, search by topic you're looking for. Number four is I go to books. I might pick up one, maybe two books. Yeah, I'm not very big on this, okay? But I do it sometimes. Number five, last but not least, is a course. Now, a short course. I want to be specific. I say short course. So right there, in order, I go you YouTube, Google, podcasts, books, and short courses. Udemy is a great place for a short course. 15, 20 bucks, three, four hour course. I dive in. It's a little bit more structured than I like. You would think that would be my main thing, but it's actually not. For some reason, the binge aspect of, anarchaic aspect of kind of going around, I like it more and I'll tell you why. You're practicing a different part of your brain when you have 
to connect dots. That's where the fun comes. So I watch one YouTube video talking about how to do targeting on YouTube ads versus on the very next video, I'm watching how to write ads. The very third video, I'm watching something again about targeting. And that forces my brain to say, wait a minute, I heard this and we connect dots. But when you watch a guided course all the way through, you aren't practicing that muscle. And in my opinion, you're not learning as fast or as much. I'm a deductive person. That's how I like to learn. It may or may not work for you. Okay, now that I've done this for about 10 to 15 hours, we move on to second step of the framework, which is focus. What is focus? I start to have very certain focal points where I'm confused still. So now I've binged, I've connected things. I understand the generalities of what's involved in running a YouTube ad, which is amazing. In less than 10 hours, you can actually understand the grand landscape of what running a YouTube ad's like. That's pretty great. That's a couple of days. That's three days tops. So now, but I start to go, how do you target though? I don't understand why, why do people keep saying YouTube targeting is better? All right, great. I'm gonna spend an hour only watching videos about targeting. So as we move to the focus section, I'm gonna again devote two to three days, two to three hours. So now I'm gonna be about six to 10 hours. So we're collectively somewhere in the 10, 15-ish, 15, 15, 16, 17 hour range since I started the binge and now I'm at focus. So for every main focal point I have, 30 minutes to an hour, but I'm not gonna go down rabbit holes. I'm going to specifically go type in these questions and look for videos that specifically answer the those questions. I have two sources I like to use for the focal point of my framework, YouTube and Google. That's it. I don't go to courses. I don't go to podcasts. For focal education, YouTube and Google are excellent. All right. So now I have binged, I have focused, and I come to the questions part. Third part. We're almost halfway through. This is where we're sitting and I'm going, ah, I still don't understand how an ad doesn't charge me if someone clicks to skip video. I don't understand how the algorithm works. What is an in market targeting. I don't get it. I'd write all my questions down. Typically at this point, I'll have 10, 15, 16, 20 questions and I'll just write them down. Takes you no more than maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes. And this is where it gets fun. We move right on to step number four of the framework. We're going to move into coaching. I want to pay. Okay. I want to pay someone who is an expert in this topic to tell me the answers to my questions. I'm done searching. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to read books. I don't want to take courses. I don't want to watch more YouTube. I got 15 questions specifically but here is the catch and here are some specifics that will go with your mind. Number one, I do not want a professional consultant. So I want to find someone who is an expert at YouTube ads because they do YouTube ads, but they do not teach YouTube ads. For the coaching part, for where I am on step four, I do not want a professional. I want a doer. I want someone who's like, yeah, I've been doing YouTube ads for a couple of years. What's up? What are your questions? How do you find that person? Brilliant, amazing, easy. Facebook, LinkedIn. Go to Facebook. I do this all the time. You want to see? Go to my Facebook page. Follow me on my personal Facebook page. You'll see me do it all the time. Hey, I'm looking for someone who can help me with blah, blah, blah. Tag them. <laughs> Comments blow up. And what I'm looking for are two people. I never want to interview only one. I ask my 15 questions to two people. Why do I do two people? Because I want to make sure their answers match up. And anywhere their answers don't match up, I hire a third person. Now, I don't usually have to pay a lot of money. Half the time, because of where I am in my professional career, those people will either do it for me for free, just to connect with me, to support me, or they'll have something they want from me. We'll do a trade or I'll offer people a couple hundred bucks, 200 bucks for an hour. Remember, they don't do this professionally. 200 bucks is a lot of money to give someone an hour. And I take a lot of people take it. On LinkedIn, I'll do the same thing. On LinkedIn, I'll say, looking for someone to answer my questions about blah, 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 I'll pay you 200 bucks. I get a lot, 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 lot more luck from Facebook. But I think that's just because I use Facebook more. I'm not a big LinkedIn person. Two to three coaches. Typically two is enough. Almost always the answer is match. All right. But remember, not professional consultants, just someone who's actually doing it. Now what's going to happen is enough dilly dally. Okay. That was a two hours of calls. So I am around 20 hours in now. Plus or minus. This is where people falter. You know enough to start. You know enough to be dangerous, even lethal. But you still don't feel like you do because you're trained to have to go to college for four years to learn something. You're trained to have to get degrees and certifications to do something. You don't. You don't need to do that. After 20 hours, what I want you to do is I want you to take your wallet out and I want you to freaking go do it. I want you to put some money down. What I did, I got a couple pages built. I took a few hundred bucks and I spent them on, on ads. You got to execute. Let me tell you something. The kinds of questions you will come across when you're actually doing something are worlds different than the questions you come up with when you're learning something. You will never, ever, ever be able to cover all the landscape until, because you know what's going to happen? You're going to be creating that, that ad and all of a sudden you're like, huh? What's that? You're going to see some, some new selection, some new option they have. And you're like, oh, I didn't see anything about this. You couldn't have thought that up in your training. So now you have something pointed. You go Google it, you go YouTube it. You, then maybe you have to call your coach back. But when you're executing, 
thing, you're going to come up with the best questions, the most hard. And now I want to actually execute for one to five days. So we are not even a week in yet, by the way. We are just getting to that five, six, seven days. And I'm already up and running and doing something. Now I'm going to execute for one to five days. What's the difference? Well, it depends on how fast you execute. You want a volume of time. When I went and did it, I spent a lot of money on YouTube ads quickly. One or two days in, I was ready to stop it and regroup. I had my answers, questions. I had everything going on. If you're going to go slower, you need to give it more time. Guaranteed, mark my words right now. When you come out of execution, you're going to pause. You're going to say, oh my God, I have so many questions. That did not work how it was supposed to. That does not look good. That you ever cooked a recipe that you, you see the video, you follow it to the freaking T, man. You measure everything. I do this all the time. It drives me nuts. I measure it to the T. I buy the exact same ingredients. I don't make a single mistake. I use the same appliances, the same everything. And freaking theirs looks so amazing. And mine comes out looking like crap. What the heck happened? That's the execution phase. That's going to happen in every new skill you learn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to step six of the framework is when I go and get a consultant. Now I'm looking for the professional. And now I'm going to pay the big bucks to say, I learned it. I know what to ask. And I went out and did it. Look at what I did. Tell me where I went wrong. That's when I want to get the chef to look at my dish and say, why is that one nice and brown and crispy on the outside? And mine is a dirty, pale yellow. And that chef is going to know exactly what happened. Say, you didn't put too much of this, too little of this, cooked it at too low of a temperature. So that's where if I'm going to pay the consultant big bucks, I want to be targeted with my questions. Too many people burn money because they bring that consultant in first day. They don't even know what they're doing. They don't even know what to ask. They get run around in circles. Now this will work in anything. So, okay, weight loss. Do you want to learn about keto diet? We can use this. You binge it, you focal it, you ask those questions, you find two or three people on Facebook that are actually doing the keto diet for two years or more, not teaching it, not selling it, just doing it. Ask them your questions, try the keto diet for a week, see how it goes, what questions do you have? Go out and hire an actual expert in keto to then answer those questions and guide you. It'll work in personal things as well. This is my six step framework I'm using to learn new skills in seven days or less. I've been using it for years. It works in personal life, professional life. Go out there and do it. All right. So again, two to three days, 10 to 15 hours total. Focus, two to three days, six to 10 hours total. Questions, 10 to 15 questions. Coaching, two hours of calls, two different people, not professionals, doers. Execute. Go out and actually do it for one to five days. And last but not least, go hire a professional consultant to review all your results. I bet you right now. You can master any skill you want. If you use this six step framework, it won't stress you out. It'll actually make it fun and you don't have to get degrees and waste a crap load of time and money getting it done. This is Onyx Agal reminding you, I love you guys. Come on. When life pushes you, stand straight, smile and push it the heck back. What is going on with me today? All right. I love you guys. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you click like, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you follow us over at onyxpodcast.com. And of course, learnexpert.com. If you want to join our community of content creators, L-U-R-N-E-X, P-E-R-T. Go join us, all right? We got some amazing free training, community, and a newsletter for you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onyx Singal.